Alrighty, Discord degenerates, I've regained my will to live, so it's time to dive into another weird Discord server. And this one is Amazon Prime energy drink levels of absolutely f***ed up, I tell you. Now, the server I'm talking about is called The Ludist House Game. Uh, so it's pretty clear already it's gonna be about some sort of naughty thing. And you might be asking, how did I find this server? Well, a viewer found it. And how did they find it? I don't know, I don't ask them any questions. But the one thing they did tell me about this Discord server is that this server is disgusting. So I'm gonna do what I do best, figure out why. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Ludist House Game Discord server. Now I'm gonna skip all the introduction stuff and just go right into the art channel because I wanna see what the goofy gooners that exist in this Discord server are sending. And the first thing I saw when I went to the art share channel was a, <laughs> was a birthday cake. Feliz Crump Cumple? <laughs> Feliz Cumple Eduardo. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what this birthday cake is about, but I was sure interested right from the start. And one of my new investigation tricks that I have up my sleeve, well, I don't have my shirt on, so, that I would have up my sleeve is searching with Google Lens. Now, I decided to search the image on this cake because I'm assuming that the person that bought this cake and decorated it is Eduardo's parents. Unless Eduardo uh, made his own birthday cake, and if that's the case, that's depressing. And good old Google Lens told me that this is from a Sin Kids tribute. So I did a little bit of research and I tried to figure out what is the Sin Kids? And we're on Tumblr already, which is a bad sign. But the Sin Kids, turns out it's a blog dedicated to the Sin Kids, which seems to be a fandom in the world they inhabit. Warning, Alabama. Yeah, I do have several questions on what the f I'm looking at. So the first thing I saw when I joined this Discord server is someone with a birthday cake that has an... <laughs> That has a cartoon, a fan fiction cartoon of a family that really loves their family in a special way. <laughs> You know, I wonder what's going through Eduardo's mom's mind when she had to make a cake with this sort of cartoon on it. What is this cartoon about, Eduardo? Um, it's about them f***ing. But as I kept browsing through the art channel, we had Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. And yes, there's a black box there for a reason. I need to bleach my eyeballs. And then as I continued to scroll through the art share channel, there's photos of feet and photos of a lot more feet. And you know what? Third time's the charm. Even more feet. There are people that spend hours of their life drawing feet in graphic detail that are really shiny. <laughs> By the way, this is like my first five minutes of looking at the server. I don't understand the feet stuff, but the thing I do understand is Discord's rules, and you are allowed this sort of stuff. Sure, it's weird, and sure, these people definitely don't tell their mom about it, except Eduardo. <laughs> but if you have any sort of adult content on Discord, you need to put it in an age-restricted channel, which the art share channel, if we look at it, is limited. Is this age-restricted? No. This is how an age-restricted channel looks. It says age restricted. So what this means is that anybody, minors included, could just visit this channel and see feet, cake, or Twilight Sparkle cake. <laughs> Which is already pretty bad if I'm gonna be honest, but this happens way too much on Discord, so for me it's like, it's just another day at the office. But the person that sent me this server, they said, no, this server is disgusting. And it turns out everything I've been looking at so far is hinting at something that is a lot worse. Yes, that cake is a hint. Now let me cook for a second, okay? People have been asking me in the comments to make a gaming channel channel, and I think it's the perfect time for me to debut my professional gaming career with the hit quadruple-A game, The Ludist House. Now, the reason why this is a quadruple-A game is because the triple-A game made by Sony, unlike that game, you can actually download this one and play it right now. And it's available for Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac gamers. So inclusive. Now, as a professional video game player, I need to make sure I have every advantage possible. I need to figure out what the game is about. And it turns out I have a little bit of secrets and tips from the guy who made the game himself. What sort of, uh... How do I, how do I phrase this word on YouTube? What sort of bedroom expansion packs and hose kinks will be in the game? Well, this video game is going to have a little about everything, but nothing too specific or extreme. And besides the obvious things like the difference of the girls' bodies, there will be booty. There will be feet. We already know that. There will be some chest stuff. There will be some Subway and Dominic Toretto. And there will be some role play. And what about pregnancy stuff and food? <laughs> For the first thing, just wait. For the second thing, maybe in the future. So taking a look at the game download link, yes, I am 18 or older, and welcome to the Ludist House game. And what is this game about? Will our hero maintain himself 100% loyal to his crush, or will fall into the what in the f an Alabama what? Uh, overcomplicated life the writers of the original cartoon made for him. Yeah, this is a 
game I don't know what I was expecting. But this video game features 80 gallery entries combining CGs and mini comics, many hours of a love story accompanied by unique illustrations, and story that continues from the end of the third season of The Loud House, adapting the variety of personalities to the game setting without breaking character. But I, I, I keep seeing the word The Loud House. Now I know some of you probably already knew what The Loud House was, but I'm assuming that everyone is like me. Can barely use a computer and half senile, but The Loud House turns out to be a cartoon. So I went to Rick I went to Wikipedia. I'm thinking of Rick and Morty. So I went to Wikipedia to figure out what is this show about. The Loud House is an American animated television series created by Chris Savino that premiered on Nickelo that's a red flag, Nickelodeon on May 2nd, 2016. The series revolves around the chaotic everyday life of a boy, red flag number two, named Lincoln Loud, who is the middle child and only son in a large family of eleven children. No, 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 no. The Loud House. The Ludist House. The Loud House. The Ludist House. Man, what the f am I getting myself into? This game, it's got the word this in it, and it's parodying a kid's cartoon show. If I downloaded this game, I would be put on a list. Honestly though, when I first saw this, I was actually genuinely hoping that this whole entire thing was fake. I was hoping that this was one of those Discord scams where it's like, hey, download my game, and it turns out to be malware, and I was hoping that this sent a virus to your computer that and blows it up and kills you in a house fire. Like this game cannot be real. So I went back to the Discord server and it turns out they have a walkthrough channel. And well, this is an image that has been uploaded by the owner of the game, the admin and the game developer. This dude is the person behind everything that is going on and that will go on as I show you. And they sent a screenshot showing every aspect of the game. In fact, you'll notice there's a special gallery. There's chapter one, the final countdown, and there's chapter two. So we have this guide showing me what's in the game. And I also have this guide from Brian on DeviantArt. This is probably some young fella, but thank you. This is helping my boomer brain understand the characters of the, the TV show The Loud House. And you and I, dear viewer, we're going to play a game together. It's called Where's Waldo? Where we try to find these characters in the video game. And every time I find one of these characters in this horrible video game, I add one to the amount of shots of vodka I need to drink to forget about this whole entire experience. So starting off, we go back to the itch page. We have this screenshot here with the caption slowly unzips your pants and reveals something to your sister but we have a person here with some bob haircut ponytail red and white shirt we go back to the guide i, I found waldo a bob haircut with a ponytail with a red and white shirt this is lynn jr who is 13 years old oh! And just to truly give you a scope on how completely whack this whole entire thing is, is if we go back to the itch page, there's frequently asked questions where they talk about how can I help with money, which I hope this guy does not get a single cent unless it's paying for this dude's therapy because he clearly needs it. But he puts what characters will be lootable. Now, let me do some editing magic here. I'm going to have this at the bottom and we're going to have our cheat sheet at the top. We have Lori, 17, Lenny, 16, Luna, 15, Luan, 14, Lynn, 13, Lucy, 8, Lana, 6, Lola, 6, Lisa, 4. But this guy's got some morals, ladies and gentlemen, because no Lily. I sure f***ing hope so, buddy. When someone is a f***ing baby in a TV show, I sure f***ing and hope you don't add this to the game. Four-year-olds, though, yeah, we'll put them in a game. And to make things even worse, there is a dude that is hand-drawing these. He's drawing in, adding textures, adding in highlights, shadows, everything. He's spending copious amounts of time making this video game. A lot of the time is spent on those disgusting scenes, which I just glossed right over. Psh, don't worry, guys. I'm overreacting. Because at the bottom of the itch.io listing, it says this is a video game where it's the wrong where, the story and characters are 100% fictional. As fictional as in most video games where you have to kill, rob banks, do illegal street racing, and other stuff you wouldn't do in real life. I'm about to lose my sh**. But putting this at the bottom of your game, that is clearly for pedophiles, this is gaslighting yourself into thinking making this game is okay. Making a game like this, or finding a game like this, anything other than disgusting, indicates you have a serious problem and you need to seek therapy. And the part that pisses me off the most is that when you click on more information, there are 655 people on this planet that rated this video game. 655 people need to be removed from this world in very creative and explicit
explosive ways. And I think the thing that makes me the most sad about this whole entire thing is that these people are far beyond saving. In their FAQ, someone asks, why don't you use AI to generate voices for the characters? Official PR response. I won't do that. Using someone's voice to make them say 18 plus stuff without their consent is not too different than making deep fakes or undress someone with Photoshop. I won't be able to sleep again if I do that. My brother in Christ, this is literally nothing compared to everything else you did. But I won't be able to sleep again if I steal their voice, but I'll draw a child all the time if I want to. Now there's only like one thing keeping me from completely losing my sh and it's the possibility that the dude that's making this game is also a minor. Kids are stupid. They won't see the issue as clear as I've tried to paint it in this video. So let's answer the question. How old is the developer? And when you click on his Discord profile. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about that large bang. That was me smashing my hand into my desk and almost breaking my f***ing desk. This guy is 28 years old and making a adult content game about a kid's cartoon with characters that are between 17 and 4 years old. What the absolute and the worst part, ladies and gentlemen, is he has a blue sky, which is like a Twitter account, but in the Fediverse. I know, nerdy technology stuff. I don't think banging a sister is that bad. Impersonating this meme that goes on Twitter. And we have the main character of the Loud House TV show. And for some reason, we also have... Ben 10, Dexter, Bart, Crash Bandicoot, one of the My Little Ponies, and Chris from Family Guy. This dude is a specimen. Put this dude in a lab pronto. And I think the worst part is that you can tell this dude is guilty and he feels guilt because he made a tweet with this character, which... Where's my cheat sheet? Who is Lenny? We could tell very easily by the white glasses. They put, for her 18th birthday, oh, I just had to read. For her 18th birthday, Lenny went to the beach with her albino boyfriend. Hashtag loudcest. There is a hashtag for this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're at our lowest of lows right now. And you might be thinking, why hasn't Discord taken down this server? This server has existed since June 21st of 2023. And the reason why this server hasn't been taken down is because I believe the people that are in the server, and there's people that is server boosted as well. That's disgusting. But I think the reason why the server hasn't gotten taken down is because every single person in the server does not find an issue with what I just showed you. They think this is completely okay, and they haven't gotten gone out of their way to report this because they don't want the server to get deleted. They like this stuff and they want it to stay, which is absolutely disgusting. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, I got some good news for you. Because when I was stalking the, their off-brand Patreon thing, it turns out back on June 1st of 2023, so 20 days before they made the new server, their Discord server got banned. But don't worry, we can always just ban their server again. Because here's the thing, when you go through Discord's report system, it kind of works like a slot machine. If you don't report things properly, you basically are just leaving it up to chance that your report goes through because Discord, I'm pretty sure, filters everything through an AI. In this guide that we've been looking at, if I specifically go to abuse or harassment and I go to content targeting or involving a minor, there is a specific report reason for illustrations that do this. Since this report reason exactly matches what is wrong with the message, which is inside of the image, the chance of this report going through to a real human being is a lot higher. And in the rare case that none of my reports work and the server is still up, once this video comes comes out, Discord usually is like, oh, we gotta take this thing down, a pronto. So yeah, that viewer was right. This Discord server is probably the most disgusting thing I have ever seen so far, which also means it's gonna take even longer for me to recover from this. Hopefully I made it not scarring to you and you found it uh, tolerable enough. Bye-bye, love you. Mwah.